Speaking right. of Kyrie Irving. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Kyrie Irving. What about him? What happened? Uh, he's, <laughs> what are you talking about? He hasn't been saying anything in the news lately. <laughs> no, he's yeah, chilling. He's, he's, he's been chilling. Uh, yeah, he's waiting for were, July 1st. You were, and we're recording this on a Saturday. You were at the game. Where the Celtics played the Knicks. I was. You heard the Good We time. Want Kyrie chants. Yes. A few times. <laughs> this is a beautiful tie-in to everything yes, we want to discuss. Beautiful. That put a big smile on your face, didn't it, Brian? You're like, oh, yeah, I, I, want Kyrie. I was like, yo, Sway's coming at the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just... Yeah, well, that's when I messaged you. I'm like, yo, it's going to be perfect. I let's was like, this it. is beautiful. Let's do it. It, it is beautiful. So let's, let's, let's circle back a little bit, okay. right? Okay. Before we get into what happened the other day. All right. Uh, a little tease. T- top of the year. Uh, Celtics have this event, fan fan mm-hmm. event was all the ticket holders, season, season ticket holders. holders. Yep, yep. Right there at this event, and Kyrie basically comes out and is like, "Yo, I'm I want to be here. I want to stay here." And so Celtics fans, I know, and I have a few fr- friends who are Celtics fans. They actually live in New York, live in Brooklyn. Same, it's amazingly, me it too. Happened. Actually, when that yeah, happened, yeah, it. Well, KG. One do- that's one dude, it, it was KG. Well, that's the reason my fiance is a Celtics I fan. I knew it. Did that she, changed everything. KG. That got that brought a lot of new Celtics fans that you wouldn't have expected. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's fans. true. The other, the, uh, my other good friend, that he's from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and so okay. he, uh, long time, long time fan. Anyway, Celtics fans are feeling good. They think he's going to stay. Um, so we have that. Kyrie doubled down on these comments when asked about it again, right? And Media also, day, yeah. he also even did that commercial where he's playing with his dad in the Boston Garden, <laughs> yep, and yep. he's talking about he wants his jersey up in the rafters. Great, right? co- great, great commercial. Spot. Great spot. Great, great spot, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's start right there. He says all this. You are around the Celtics. You hear what they have to say. How good are you feeling that, hey, this guy's going to stick with us. Number 11 is going to stay with us. He's still going to be there. It's genuine. I believe it. At the time, I do. I did. Oh, okay. Does what that, about now? Yeah. <laughs> Where he's um, like, ask, when he said, ask me July 1st, I'm like, he's out. He's gone. Right. Peace. So, done. Lakers. My confidence has wavered a bit. Yeah. But I still think he's going to stick around. I just think Kyrie's had it with people just assuming that all these rumors and reports are true. Because think about it. Without the, uh, well, what was the first thing? I don't even know where to start here. Without the, uh, Anthony Davis asking for a trade. Mm-hmm. This whole thing doesn't get started, right? Without the actually, he kind of brought this on himself, but this is not this wasn't his intention. Without him saying that was the first thing, actually. Oh yeah, I called LeBron James. I that called was, yeah. after I called out these yes. youngsters. I needed some advice, so let me call LeBron James. All of a sudden, oh, what's his name on ESPN? All you know, these talking hands are like oh, I'm hearing. Kyrie's a little open to having a reunion in L.A. with LeBron James. I don't know. Which the, Brian, which Brian where is Where did that come for? from? The, Yo, but that was, there's it's, no it's, concrete evidence or anything to, su- to support that report. It came out of nowhere. As soon as he said that. It's as lazy. Soon, as soon as Kyrie said that, I was like, yo, I think he's going to the Lakers. <laughs> come on, man. But he's always here for the drama. That's Brian's so lazy, man. I could, no, but I could see that just because, like, you know, he, he, he thought he could do something on his own. And he's like, you know what? Nah, I miss LeBron. All right, let me go back to LA. They need a man. point guard. Lonzo's not. Legacy Lon- purposes, do you know like, how Lonzo's- that would be for him to do something like but that? But do you know how much that's going to hurt the Celtics fan? Oh, if well, he, of course. But you if think, he leaves and goes anywhere. You think Kyrie about the Celtics fans, right? I mean, <laughs> in this scenario, that's the last thing he's thinking if about. If he leaves and goes anywhere, he'd go to the Knicks. He go- It'll hurt the Celtics fan. I'd but see him going to New York. if he leaves and goes to the yeah. Lakers? Mm. And you're – oh. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> the NBA is the perfect soap opera, and it can't get any better than that. And you were at the Garden, and you and you were there for the morning shoot around, correct? I was not. You were I was not, not at the morning yeah, shoot Yeah, I was really upset that I wasn't because I didn't. Yeah, the, the, right. way I had, the way I think I had, had it planned out it doesn't was matter. I was going to go to the game. But, but yeah. you heard, everybody had the sound right. what he yeah. said. Right. He was asked about this. He basically says he doesn't know anybody's shit. Ask me July 1st. Yeah. Ask me July 1st. When you hear that now... <laughs> <laughs> you said you felt good in the beginning of the year, but how are you feeling now? My confidence was wavered a bit that he he may leave the Celtics a little bit, but it hasn't changed much. It hasn't because this is what okay, this is what Kyrie Irving. This is who he is. It's like you're not gonna. I don't have to answer to you. I don't have to answer right. to these false reports that I have nothing to do with. Right. Because if if Anthony Davis doesn't ask for a trade, you wouldn't be asking me this. If the Knicks don't make the trade, you wouldn't be asking me this. So what? In other words, like. Fuck that got to do with me. Like that's pretty much what he's saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing. Like, like, the, like, what's his name in Friday? Fuck that got to do with me. Like, I, I have nothing to do with these reports. I already told you guys at the beginning of the season. Why do I have to recommit to, to or double down on my comments? Because like, we got to get a story, bro. <laughs> no, but see, I, see, that's what he doesn't like. That, that, that's what <laughs> Kyrie's trying to wrap his head around the media and the way things go. Because again, well, he's never been the Batman. Listen, if he signs, he's not used to this. If he does end up going to the Knicks, it's going to be like that every day. 
probably worse sometimes, especially when they're losing. But see, so I, I don't know if he don't want to deal with that. I mean, I mean, if you can get through Boston, though. I mean, New York and Boston, which media is worse? They're, they're like neck and neck. I'd probably say well, New York. New York might be worse. Might be, they might be a little worse yeah. because it, it, of, I, you guys haven't had a lot of success the past, what? Let me it, say this. 19 oh. years I would, or so. I'd probably say New York is a little bit worse. And a I would, little bit. I would probably also say for New York, it also depends on the athlete. I think so too, but I think I think what is changing now is if you have that attitude of like, yo, I don't. It's not I can't deal with this. Is I don't have to deal with this. Exactly. I kind of like the Kyrie's like I don't know anybody. Shit. I like I like okay. it too. I like I like I like how he's unconventional. <laughs> Some fans don't like it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how he thinks. They were not but liking I, my article. I also think that he could have handled that better, and he knows that. He just chose not to for whatever. Reason. I don't think I don't think he cares. I kind of like that too, though. <laughs> Me too. I agree. He doesn't I care, agree. man. I agree. Sometimes, I'm like the person's you. like, yeah, I don't care if I can handle that. Handle that necessarily. I agree because I can relate. Yo, Kyrie, when it comes to stuff like this, he brings it up. Nobody makes him answer these questions. He's always been like that. Because you're right. He could have deflected and just said, "Hey, look, I said what I said at the top of the year. Right. I'm going to do what's best for my family. Er, done. Right. But when you when you say that the media the media plays, there's an expectation, as you mm-hmm. said, also that he has to double down on this, and he doesn't. Doesn't have He to. doesn't re- literally owe anybody anything, yeah. right? He doesn't have to double down on what he said. His feelings could change. He can now say, "I want to be a, go to the Knicks. I want to go to Lakers." Y'all really gonna be mad for what another man wants to do with his family? Mm-hmm.